What's up everyone, Brad here, and today I'm gonna to be making a file guide. Now this device has many uses in the knife shop, such as helping file slots for guards, cleaning up a tang, or helping to keep even plunge lines. I'll start off by cutting out the two pieces of steel that I need for this project. Now keep in mind that the less steel you use, the lighter this is going to be. I'd say a thickness of about quarter inch to maybe three eighths is probably pretty good for this project. Now you don't really need much width in the steel, but you do want some length in your file guide. That way it'll accept the width of whatever size blade you wanna put in there. Let's get started. You can see that I've tack welded these pieces together and that's just to help keep them in line while I drill holes and then flush up the edges at the grinder. It'll just help me keep everything together. It'll end up a little bit more uniform in the end. tapping these holes and I'm just going through both of the layers right now while I've got them welded together. Later on, I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the threads from one of the pieces because I only need one of them to be tapped.
Now it's important to have a hardened surface on this file guide, otherwise my files and my abrasives are just gonna eat this thing up, so I'll be quenching this to harden the steel. Now I'm a bit nervous to leave this fully hardened because I don't want the steel to be too brittle to handle flexing when I tighten the bolts. So after quench, I'm gonna be giving this a very light tempering just to kind of ease off a little bit of the brittleness. And I'm also gonna be leaving these two pieces of steel tack welded going into the quench. I think that'll help prevent some of the warping that could occur. Well, there we have it. This was a super easy project and I just created such a valuable little tool. For those of you who haven't tried working with a file guide, I highly recommend giving this a shot. This really helps to improve accuracy in plunge lines, guard fitting, and a whole lot of other stuff. Please drop some comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this quick little build. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.